Our last film deals with lesbianism, nymphomania, alcohol abuse, and bad parenting. It contains scenes of nudity, voyeurism, masturbation, and copulation. Sounds pretty good, huh? Since it was made in 1963, you might expect it to have caused the British Board of Film Censors considerable offence and been a prime candidate for major cuts, if not outright banning. But this was not the case. The reason is simple. The film was directed by Ingmar Bergman. The Silence is the third film in a series directed by Bergman, dealing with loneliness, lust, and loss of faith. It's an extraordinary movie. Though it's in Swedish, there's very little dialogue. Well, it's called The Silence, after all, since the protagonists are trapped in a foreign country whose language they do not understand. It's fantastically photographed by Bergman's perennial collaborator, Sven Nykvist. At times, The Silence resembles Last Year at Marienbad, but it's much sexier and easier to understand. When it was first shown in Sweden, it was screened uncut, and supposedly the erotic scenes were so explicit that they shocked domestic audiences. This was a few years before I Am Curious Yellow and the filmic sexual revolution. It was cut by the British censor, but not very much. Subtitles were also removed or reworked, including erectile tissue, it's a matter of erection and secretions, and semen smells nasty to me, which was changed to, to me it's revolting. In 1961, John Trevelyan had given an interview to the press in which he said, when you're dealing with people of quality and integrity and artists, there's practically nothing they can't do because they do it for valid reasons. Trevelyan clearly considered Bergman to be a filmmaker in this category. When he saw the silence, he declared, this is an absolutely brilliant film of the highest artistic quality. I think it's good that Trevelyan recognized the essential quality of the silence, just as he defended Ken Russell when other members of the BBFC wanted to gut the devils. But ultimately, his position raises serious problems, the most obvious one being, who says if a filmmaker is an artist or not? Most would agree that Bergman is an artist, but what about Ken Russell? I certainly think he is. Others might disagree. Alain Robbe-Grillet, the director of Trans-Europe Express, certainly was an artist, but his film, which deals with sadomasochism, remains banned in this country. Monty Hellman is certainly a film artist on the base of Tulane Blacktop and the shooting, but he has the misfortune of making films in English, less artistic, and his brilliant cockfighter still cannot be screened. Trevelyan's point of view demands that we surrender not only our civil liberties, but our aesthetic judgment to the film censor. Whether the censor has the right or the ability to decide these issues for us remains decidedly unclear.